Hello everybody and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorials number 11. Today we're going into two features of Google Drive you may not know about. The first one is going to be looking at how you can insert Google Drive videos into a Google Slides presentation. And the other one is how to insert hyperlinks into a Google spreadsheet that link to other parts of the spreadsheet. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one. And basically we go into a Google Slideshow presentation and we find a slide that we would like to insert the video into and we do the normal uh, insert video just like we did before. And instead of doing a YouTube search, we go to Google Drive and then you can either select drive files that you own or go to the shared with me section. I'm going to choose this one here uh, from Ferris Bueller's Day Off and then you adjust it just like you would normally adjust it, center it and so on and you can double click and play it back. So the one thing you need to remember with this is that permissions are basically controlled by Google Drive uh, separately for these items. So people might have access to see this presentation but may not have access to see the video. Just like any embedded content, you'll need to go and make sure that that video is shared to anyone with the link or the, the audience you're going to be using anyways. Aside from that, that's pretty much it. You just share it there and you can now put videos in there that you may not want to put up on YouTube or videos that you know, may have copyrighted content or things like that that you want to use with fair use here in your classroom and only in your classroom setting. So the next feature I'd like to show is how to do hyperlinks within a spreadsheet. So let's start with this one. This is a progress monitoring template and I would like to link to these different tabs right here using uh, links from the first tab and then I can then build them into the other tabs if I need to. So easy way for people to go to different tabs without having to know to go down there. So that's the very basic link. You simply select the text, go up and hit insert link, choose sheets from this spreadsheet, and then just choose the appropriate tab. There you go. I can click there and test it. Sure enough, it takes me to the behavior tab and I'm good. The next thing is linking to a specific set of cell ranges. So let's say that I'm looking at something like a calendar and I would like to go to uh, this section here about project planning way ahead in May 9th and I would like to link to that there. Right, so I simply go back to there and I choose the 9th and I do a link and instead of sheets I choose select a range of cells. So I click on that and then it needs to know what range of cells. Now I could either type that in there or I could actually browse to it. And that's kind of neat. I go over there and browse to it, move this over there. And then I simply select the range of cells there and it fills it in. I hit OK and apply. So now when I click on the ninth here, it goes to that particular area. I can do the same hyperlink for the other dates in there and link it as well. But you see what I'm saying. OK, so those are our two things for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was short and sweet as I could make it. And I hope if you do like it, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you really like what we're doing and you'd like to follow us, Hit that subscribe button, follow us on Twitter and so on if you'd like, and I'll see you guys next week.